story to tell. In Southeast Asia, it can be considered that Indonesia's defense industry is the strongest when it has successfully produced armored vehicles, transport aircraft, warships, missiles, many types of guns, and so on. And now, after basically self-sufficient part of modern equipment for military, Indonesia is gradually entering the export market. Among the military equipment, Indonesia is introducing to potential customers, notably the Inoue armor vehicles developed by Pindad since 2004. This is a successful example of Indonesia in the field of defense industry. The development history of the Pindad Inoue was started in 2003 as a result of increased military intervention in the Aceh province. During the conflict, the Indonesian army put forward urgent requirements for an armored personnel carrier for troop transport. Pindad responded to this requirement in 2004 with the APR-1V, a light 4x4 armored vehicle based on the commercial Isuzu truck chassis. Next is APS-1 and APS-2. However, both types are not put into mass production. Pindad continued to develop APS-3 in 2006 from the development data of APS-2. The 6x6 prototype first undergoing testing and trials on the beginning of 2007 and then officially unveiled to the public during the Indo-Defense Aerospace 2008 exhibition on November 18, 2008. Mass production followed shortly after. So far, more than 400 have been produced for the Indonesian army. Some countries show their interest in purchasing the ANOA. Some sources claim that Oman ordered 200 of these APCs. The APS-3 is named after ANOA, which is a type of buffalo indigenous to Indonesia. The ANOA differed from its predecessors, which had been based on commercial truck platforms. Instead, the vehicle used the monocoque hull design, consisting of armor steel that can withstand 5.56 and 7.62 mm bullets. This APC has a crew of three, including commander, gunner, and driver. It accommodates up to 10 fully equipped infantrymen. The crew enters the front compartment through two side doors. The driver sits on the right side of the vehicle, while the vehicle commander sits on the left. The gunner sits behind the commander, inside the open turret, beside the engine. The engine located in the middle, while the remaining space on the left of the engine are fitted with open turret for a machine gun or automatic grenade launcher. Two additional hatches at the roof of the front compartment provide emergency access for driver and commander. Two banks of smoke granite projectors were placed slightly behind the front side doors on each side. The crew and mounted infantry both get direct access to the vehicle air conditioning system. Two inward facing benches provide seating for five tubes each. Communications equipment include VHF FM radios, crew intercom system, and GPS transceiver. There are also tear shirt firing port on the NOS, with four port on each side of the tube compartment, two port on rear hydraulic ram door, and one port on each of the front side doors. All of them located just below the vision blocks with total numbers of 12 firing ports fitted around the vehicle. A video camera was also placed at the rear of the vehicle to help driver while reversing the vehicle. The baseline Pindad Onoa armor personnel carrier is fitted with a shielded cupola, which mounts a 12.7mm machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. This cupola is capable of 360 rotation. 
there are two banks of 366mm smoke grenade discharges, which can be used to smoke screens and offensive move or cover a tactical retreat. A fire support version was named Marduk, using a CSE-90 turret with a 90mm main gun and a 7.62mm machine gun was unveiled. These vehicles possess the firepower capable of attacking dense enemy units as well as enemy tanks. At the same time, they are known as combat armor vehicles that can be operated for guerrilla search and destroy operations. This armor personnel carrier with a six-wheel symmetrical drive system was designed specifically for the needs of the army weaponry, especially cavalry. The vehicle has a maximum weight of 14.5 tons. Despite the weight, it can travel at a maximum speed of 80 km per hour and a range of 600 km. This is because it is powered by a French Renault MITR 0620-45 series inline. 6-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine delivering 320 horsepower at 2,500 revolutions per minute. The ANOAS was officially placed into Indonesian military service on July 2009. They were publicly since in service when it was deployed in Lebanon for peacekeeping duties since April 2010. On November 15, 2011, the ANOAS were used as fighting vehicles to patrol and guard ring at the Asian summit in Nusa Dua, Bali. ANOAS also used by bus bumpers to escort the president visits. Because ANOAS was performant and effectively, it continues to be developed into many variants such as logistics, recovery and ambulance. And, no less important, ANOAS received international recognition is evident by interest from Oman, Malaysia, Nepal, and Bangladesh to buy a Noah. My video of a Noah armor vehicle ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.